All right, guys, welcome back to episode 10. So last time we lost our win streak, unfortunately, which was a bit sad, but um, it was kind of expected because I understood that like, well, I already had expectations that Hanabi is not really a hard carry hero. So I kind of expected that we'd lose, but you know, that doesn't change the fact that it's sad, but we still have these quests left, so we can still get one of these skins and yeah. So let's just quickly grab these daily rewards. So we got five magic dust. What an amazing reward, guys. Uh, grab our lucky chest and all, quickly log into all these. Okay. And another thing is, um, I didn't realize this, but I saw this on my main account the other day. So you can actually, okay, so you can either get the skin for Johnson or this killing effect, or you can just get a full on hero if you get enough tokens. So I might actually go for this. So you get these rewards if you have these, but wait. So what is this? From 10-7 to 10-15, share your To The Stars result one time. And this event is basically, you get these like rewards if you complete it. So I'm just gonna quickly speed run it this episode. So here we, let's just go. So basically um, what this is, it's like, it's like a puzzle thing. So I'm just gonna quickly complete all of these for the free rewards. And you guys can just like copy if you want, but you guys might not actually have this event going on if you're watching this video at a later date. But if you guys do have it, then just feel free to watch. But yeah. So we got a ton of rewards from this. I'm actually just gonna... Oh wait, oh, I meant to do this. So you can actually get a ton of rewards just by completing this. And one of them is going to be either that skin or that um, new hero. And I'm probably gonna go for the new hero unless I feel like going for like a killing animation. So we just got like 20 coins, for instance. Uh, for this one, you want your first card to go faster. So you can go like this and then like have it loop around. Yes, here wait. Let me let me redo that. Is that? Okay. So like this and then like this. And then that'll make it complete. All right? Next stage. And by the way, you guys can like look this up on uh Google. Like if you look this up on YouTube, it should pop up. Oh, whoop. I spent a bit too many tracks here. So yeah, like if you guys look this up on uh, YouTube, it should pop up how to finish all the stages. Um, some of them are like really hard to do on your own. So if you guys want a challenge, then that would be one way to go about doing it. But yeah, most of the levels can take anywhere between like a minute to 30 seconds if you're fast. Well, 30 seconds to a minute if you're fast, um, but longer, of course, if you're not fast. So I'm just going to do this to make it so that we collect the rocket. We're just kind of speeding through. There's four stages in total, and you actually get an achievement if you finish all of this. So I'm actually gonna go just do it like this. Oh wait, no, no, mind. That doesn't work. In that case, I'm just gonna do this. Make it loop around, and that should get us two rockets. Oh wait, whoop. I forgot to connect that. That should get us two rockets, and that'll allow us to finish off these meteors and continue going on. So our next stage is this. So in this case, I'm actually just gonna go like this and ignore that other meteor. Or I guess asteroid is the better choice. <laughs> yeah, we get a ton of rewards, like I said. So this is like a great way if you want to get some extra rewards. So I'm actually gonna have to alter this a bit. So here, let me just take that out, connect that. I'm gonna make this loop around like that. Oh, whoop. I forgot to change the direction. That should make it so that. Oh wait. Never mind. Wait. Give me one second. If I take that out and I connect it, what happens then? Nope. That doesn't work. Okay. Here. Let's try this. This should make it work. All right. So yeah, like you guys can see, like you can finish it all in like one minute. But I'm just doing this because, um, you know, I want to get all the rewards. So for instance, in this case, you can actually make it loop around like that. And then have this guy go around in a circle. And I think if you do this, it should work. Nope, no mind, it does not work. Okay, wait, give me one second. Um, yeah, here, let me just pull it up on YouTube and I'll just like copy paste what I see. All right, so we are on 2-6. So if we look at it, so the answer for this one is just you loop it around like that. And then this guy, you go up, you loop it, and then you connect it. 
And then this should give you the answer. So yeah. 2-7. Okay, so we got an Empire Chevalier medal. That's pretty good. So 2-7, you just do this. So here. Just loop it around. Kind of like that. Oh, wait, whoop. Loop it around like that. Actually, yeah, this works too. Okay, so you just loop it around and then you just finish the puzzle. Like that. And we get an S. We get 20 more coins. So now we're on stage three, interstellar travel. Um, basically for this one, you just draw a line and you're done. For the second one, um, what you want to do is you want to basically, it's the same thing, connect it like that, go like this, and then make it go up like this. Oh, wait, whoop, my bad. Um, sorry, not like that. Uh, you can draw it down like this. So then now the cards will just follow in succession. Right. And by the way, like like I said, they're all on YouTube. So this next one, what you can do is connect this and then draw a line like that. And let's see. And then just do a little bit of a circle loop like that. And then that should get you your answer. Boom. There we go. Yeah. So our next one will be... Uh, it's just basically you draw it like that, and then you go like that. Make sure you flip that sign, make this loop around, and then connect that like that. And then now it should work out. Yep. So that's mirrored path. So we get a ton of fragments and a ton of like resources from this basically. So I highly recommend you do it if you're like doing this by the way. So I just connect that, connect this, connect this, and then I have to do this like that. I think. Is what the answer is? All right, no, wait, no, wait. Sorry. Let's redo this. Okay, so the official answer goes like this. Okay, and then we need to make it so these two are not connected like that. And that should get you, oh wait. Oh. And this should give you your answer. Boom, see? So we had another Empire Chevalier medal. So now we're on 3-6. So this one, you want to make it so that, um, wait, give me one second. Okay, 3-6, you want to make it so that um, the cart kind of goes like this. So connect that onto the top, go to the side, do that, and then do this. And then that should make it so that you complete the entire thing. So that's 3-6. And I think this goes on to like 4-7, by the way. So bear with me just a little bit longer. Uh, 3 7, you go um, basically like this, draw a connection, and then you draw a line that goes like that, and then you connect it down, and then do that. Oh, wait, whoop, sorry. And then this, if we could just connect these together, should be working. Oh, wait, what? Wait, why is it? Why is this not connecting? Okay, there we go. Alright, now it should work. There we go. So now it's 3 7. So we get 25 coins from that. So now we continue on. So for this one, uh, it's pretty simple. Um, here. You can just um, basically go down this and then just draw them up like that. And then they'll just go in order. For 4 2, what you want to do is um, basically draw a straight line, draw another straight line. Connect these two together and keep them in this orientation and then now just draw a circle loop like that and you're set. Oh wait, whoop, this didn't connect. Yeah, just do this and then you should be set. Alright, that is three. We're like breezing through this by the way. Alright, four dash three. So this one, you want to draw a bit of something like this, connect it. And then from here, uh, basically go out, up side like that connect that together and then for here what you want to do is you want to go like this so i think i just messed it up but wait anyway, let's retry it so i want to go like this essentially and that should make it all work out oh wait well this one's not connected properly but yeah if we do that now it should work out boom that was 4-3 so this last one, you want you want to do is okay. Four dash four is the hardest one. This one took like me, I think, closer to like thirty minutes to figure out. 
So I highly recommend you just watch the video to do it. It's a lot, it makes your life a lot less painful essentially. And then we just connect it like that. And then draw these together. Make sure that these are like that. And then once you do that, oh wait, whoop, sorry. This one needs to be pointing the other way. Kind of like this. And now all of them should just complete themselves. So now you're done with 4-4. Yeah, that one took quite a bit of time to figure out. But the rest of them are fairly easy. Um, for this one, what you want to do is um, just make them go like that. Connect these together. Uh, draw a line that goes like this. And then basically just do like a little bit of a circle loop like that. Oh, wait, whoop. Uh, sorry, wait, give me one second. Sorry, it goes like this. Yeah. And then that'll finish that off. So that's 4 5. We get another hero fragment from that. Uh, 4 6. Basically, what you want to do is uh, draw out something that kind of looks like this. So, boom. And then draw a line. Make sure these are connected and pointing in this direction. Draw an upwards shape, kind of like going like that. Make sure that this one's pointing this way. And then connect these together in just like this circular pattern, and then you're set. And then once you finish this, um, they're all finished each other. Oh wait, Whoop. what did I mess up? Okay, wait, give me one second. Oh yeah, sorry, it's supposed to go like that. Not, that, not differently. Wait, what am I messing up? Oh wait, sorry, these are connected together. Oh yeah, so that's what it looks like. Okay. So now they should finish each other like that. So that was 4-6, and now our last stage, 4-7, uh, is fairly like simple. So all you have to do is connect these three together like that, uh, draw this one together, draw this one vertically in this shape, and then make sure that this one, like these guys are connected to each other and pointing in that direction. Now just complete the line like that, and then complete the line like that, and then this should finish it. Wait, whoop. what did I do wrong? Sorry, sorry, sorry. This like this. Okay, now it should work if we do it. All right, one, two, three, and four. All right, and now we get this achievement for finishing all of them with S ratings. And then we just go to the main interface and we have gotten all these rewards. And what we can do is we can just press the share button. You can press on anything. So for instance, I don't have like, I don't, you can just tap that and close it and then just close it out. That counts as sharing and you'll get coins for that. And then from here, you can just click on go. So the fun data report is you press on that. And then I guess there's a share button here somewhere. E, let's see. Friend calendar. Nope, it's not this one. Featured event, free rewards. I Annual fund data report? Where's the annual fund data report? Maybe it's here? All right, so just make sure you click on these, uh, collect the rewards. So yeah, I don't think I collected any of these, by the way. So we just collect this, is it. Come here, just grab this. Okay. All right. So you can just like skip through all this. And collect this. Ooh, what is this? Achievement points and magic dust. That's good. And then we can do the same for the bottom one. Um, I guess I'm not gonna just do that. Did we do anything? Okay. Ooh! Oh, let's go! We get an avatar border and a moat or a recall. I'm gonna actually go for a recall because we don't actually have a recall yet. And I'm gonna equip that one. All right, so we get a free recall effect. Let's go. And then for free rewards, we can exchange. Do I want a killing effect? Do I want that? Actually, you know what? We have enough. Okay, so first let's buy this hero. And if we use it, we can choose a new hero to get. I'm actually gonna go for one of the carry heroes. I'm gonna use Selena. So Selena will be yet another assassin. And you know what? Let's actually use her this video. So she's a mage assassin and you typically wanna use her as either a roamer or like more of like a support because she's not exactly a hard carry. And I don't actually need this Johnson skin. So I'm gonna go for a killing effect because these are rare. So these are killing notifications. So I like to go for cosmetics and obviously I wish we could get the Johnson skin. So if we can get it, let's go for it. But I doubt we can, but this is our new killing effect and an achievement. We get more magic dust. Oh wait, we got more. Okay. And we got that and we got that. All right. So we max that out. And then obviously we have this starlight thing, magic dust. And then for shop, we just quickly log in, grab these rewards. Oh, we got Kagura. She's pretty good. I'll quickly collect this, daily supply, hunting pals, and then obviously we have a bit more stuff to do. 
This is getting a little bit tedious, I know, but bear with me. All right, and then we can go to our emblem and okay, we don't upgrade anything yet and mail is nothing. So let's quickly jump into a game with Selena. And Selena is actually a really fun assassin because um, she requires a lot of skill to play. And if you can play her well, she's incredibly good. But if you can't, then she's literally useless. And her gimmick is basically, she switches between two forms. She either has a, a form where she shoots out a stun and a trap and applies marks on the enemies. And if she transforms into her other form, which is like a, I guess a demon from the abyss, um, she'll do damage consuming the marks and basically refreshing her skills. I'll give you like a rundown of how to use her. So we just started. So we're entering this match, and I know for a fact I can carry with Selena because I've played, I've practiced so many times playing her. Just so you know, it's gonna take you a bit of time learning how to play her. She's not a jungle, by the way. I wouldn't recommend it. In fact, I'd actually recommend using a build like maybe this one. But unfortunately, we don't have the proper items, so I'm actually just gonna wait. Let's let's first swap out our skill. So I'm gonna go to execute this cuts, and then for the skills, I would say yeah. Do adaptive attack, go for a wilderness blessing, and then I'm actually gonna go for impure rage and then save our layout. And then actually, should we do execute or should we do something else? You know what? I'm actually gonna go for sprint because I want I need an escape skill. And I feel like it, uh I don't know actually. Like ideally you always want to go either flick or flame shot. Like these are the two best spells for Selena. But because we don't have those yet, I don't know what we should go. Um, sprint. Actually, you know what? Let's just go Aegis because she's squishy. Just in case. And actually, yeah, let's just stick with Aegis. And we don't actually have like a jungler in this game, which is kind of sad. Um, but it is what it is. I can still carry with Selena though, so this should be fine. And you guys are going to have a bit of fun because <laughs> Selena is a, quite a bit of a treat if you can play her properly. So hopefully you guys will have fun with that. But let me just show you. Basically, what you want to do is Selena can start doing a ton of damage when she hits level 2. So the moment you hit level 2 is when you can start carrying your team. And let me just show you why she's so strong. Her her gimmick is mainly like use your stacks and your stuns. So let's just start. You always want to upgrade your first skill, by the way, and then just go for boots. Alright, so what you can do is every time you swap your form, you get a tiny bit of a movement speed buff. And it also refreshes the cooldowns of your skills. So you want to learn how to like constantly swap between these two forms. Um, I'm going to quickly pop down this trap. It'll turn invisible after a bit of a time, like a bit of time. And if you hit an enemy, it'll like do this. The reason why it's good is if you hit an enemy here, they get marked, right? And when they get marked, your attacks basically will do extra damage against them. So right now what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to hit level uh, two as fast as I can. Okay, so we're about to hit level two. And the cool part about Selena is, um, here, let me just show you. Basically, you get the stun, and when it lands, uh, you can consume marks to do a ton of damage like that. Okay. I'm just going to stun him here and dish out a ton of damage against him. So I can just do this. And notice how, like, every time I consume a mark, it refreshes my um, skills. All right. Oh, whoop, I missed him. Uh, maybe I should have gone execute, guys. But yeah, Selena's like mana consumption is like pretty high, so you gotta know how to like manage your mana properly. So you guys might need a retreat. Um, I would highly recommend going for this item first, actually, Elegant Gem, because it's a it's a really good item. Because basically, what it does is every time you level up, you get twenty percent of your max HP like refilled in addition to um, like your mana over two seconds. Plus, it also gives you a ton of HP and um, like health essentially for the early game. It's gonna launch this. Okay, he dodged it. Uh, dodging Selena's skills, by the way, is incredibly important. But as you guys can see here, um, I'm just gonna launch my shot. I'm gonna see if I can hit her. Nope, I failed. Yeah, Selena's like really weak if you can't hit your stuns, by the way. Okay, I need to back up a bit. So you need to learn how to launch your stuns and hit them. If you can hit them, by the way, um, from a longer range, you'll actually get a bit of a speed buff. So it's like, I think it's as long as you can apply a stun over one second, um, she gets a bit of a movement speed buff. And the cool part about Selena is her movement speed buff, like um, her stun basically increases in, dis in like time as it flies farther. So you can actually do something like this. And then, okay, I think I can kill her. 
as long as I aim like this. Oh no, never mind. She's too far away. Yeah, I probably should have gone execute, guys. It's also because like I don't have like the mage emblem. Normally, the mage emblem would make you do a lot more damage, but we don't exactly have that luxury. So I'm just gonna stun him and then apply the mark. I'm gonna go in and then dash out like that. So basically, the combo that you want to use with her is you want to make sure that you apply the mark and then just stun them, right? If you can. Okay, they're all here. Okay, I'm gonna be a bit passive here, and I'm just gonna. You can either, by the way, um, like if you launch your second skill and then apply your first skill like this, you can apply the mark instantly, like that. Or you can do it like a slow hand combo: apply the mark down first and then launch it, like that. And I can just do that, like that. So the reason why she's so strong is because um, her damage will scale like an insane amount once you hit the late game. The only downside is um, she's more of a support because of the fact that she's so squishy herself. So if you can't like if you can't aim first of all, then you're bad, and it can't you can't really carry with her. And second of all, um, you need to learn to be able to dodge and weave using her skill set. Her first skill, as you guys saw, is like a claw. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. All right, all right. I'm gonna do this, and notice how much damage I do, by the way. That's that's why Selena is insane. And you can like cast your skills in a certain order, like that. And now we got Veil. Yeah, this is why, by the way, like Flicker is important because you can like use Flicker to dash in. Um, their enemy marksman is kind of free farming here, though, so I'm just gonna go in and see if I can stun her. All right, let's see. Nope, she dodged out of the way, or I guess I just missed. Alright, so like, yeah. if we aim like this, maybe our Franco can hook her. Alright, that's nice. Alright, and then we can just like, use our skills basically. Um, her passive doesn't deal more damage depending on the skills you use. It deals just a fixed amount of damage, just how on based on how much like, stuff you have already. So like, it's okay if you just use basic attacks. Um, the reason why you want to use a skill is because um, the skill will actually make it so that your skills cooldowns get reset. Like this skill, um, every time you consume a mark, it gets a refresh cooldown. The first skill will give you a shield. So that's ideally what you want. I'm just gonna mark him, slow him down, stun him. Uh, he should be dead now, because I can just do that, and then just dash back out. And this is why, by the way, flicker is important, because you can like you can basically like spam your dashes, because you could like you could flicker dash in to somewhere like right here, and then just double dash out because you have your marks already set. Obviously, our teammates are kind of getting uh teamed on right now, so I'm just gonna go here and try and help. Alright, I can launch a stun from a distance like this, and do this, and then boom, she's dead. Like that. So the reason why, by the way, that was an OP combo is because when you launch your second skill and your first skill, notice how the first skill takes a while to activate that second effect. So you can actually use a bit of a combo like this, and if it connects, basically it'll instantly apply two marks, and then after like two seconds, it'll apply that third mark, meaning that if you can get up close, um, you can dish out more damage in the earlier tarts. So the reason why I'm just like being passive right now is because if you can't land your uh, second skill consistently, what you can instead opt to do is do this combo, because um, the enemies will get slowed down by your first skill. So yeah, so you can like opt to do this instead, essentially. I'm just gonna do that. So he should be almost dead. So I'm just gonna dash away. If he tries going for me, I'm just gonna use my shield. But yeah, here, let's see if we can stun him. Yep, there we go. So cast that, like that. And that's why she's so strong, because she can basically stun people for two seconds if you hit them from max range. You can also cast your like traps like this, and basically like scout the enemy ahead of time. And oh god, I think I'm dead here. Alright. Never mind, I'm not dead. Somehow. I'm just gonna escape. So you guys can see like she's really squishy, um, but once she gets this item, like she can basically one shot all squishy heroes uh, with her combo. Alright, I'm gonna go hunt down their marksman now. And the reason why, uh, basically her early game is she like is supposed to be a heavy damage supporter, whereas in the late game she's supposed to be a um, like a, I guess a stunner, in a sense. So yeah, like that combo that you guys just saw. Notice how she was stunned for two seconds because I hit her at the maximum range. Um, that's why Selena's fun. Uh, you're supposed to use your 
uh, stuns basically to hit the enemies as much as you can to help out in team fights because <laughs> let's be honest no one likes getting stunned for two entire seconds right sure. like you're literally not going to be able to do anything it's longer than the franco's ultimate which lasts for 1.8 seconds i think so selena is like really annoying especially because you can spam these stuns like that oh wait whoop. yeah and i can just do an assist and dash out of the way which is why she's insane oh god i think i'm dead though nope never mind see what this guy does because what I can do is if I see him coming all right I'm just gonna cash my oh nice we hit him and I, I didn't we, I didn't hit him with my second face though unfortunately but we can do this and attack him I'm gonna cast my skill here to slow him down okay I'm gonna heal up a bit and notice how I'm constantly swapping between my forms by the way so I'm just gonna cast this down here so that I can see where he is and then I'm just gonna wait and I'm just gonna do that. Okay, I hit him. I do that, and then I do that, and now he's dead. So the combo that you want to do is you want to hit your, uh, like your stun basically, dash in, use your first skill, which is basically like you get a shield and it does enhanced damage. Yep, like that. And then use your mark, and then you can either keep attacking or just retreat. So in this case, I'm gonna see if I can stun her. Yep. So I just dash in, attack, and then I dash out. And then because I hit her with my mark, I can dash out again. So I can just do that again, right? And I stun her, which is hilarious. <laughs> so yeah. And you basically just spam this until the end of your days. And now he's stunned, and now I get an assist. And repeat. Oh wait, what? So yeah, the reason why she's fun is because you can just keep repeating this. And the reason why I say she's not that good in jungle is because she lacks like damage output. And she doesn't have that much health, so she's incredibly easy to kill. And if you're easy to kill, you're not a good jungler because the current meta is actually like tanks being in the jungle. And yeah, but Selena is one of those heroes that would benefit greatly from the blue buff. I'm just gonna slow her down from this and then I'm gonna launch my stun. Oh, never mind, I didn't catch her. That was lucky on her part. It's because Layla gets that speed buff. I'm gonna try launching my stun here. All right, we got their batting. Okay, their Veil got um, Athena shield, which means that he thinks of me as the biggest threat alongside Vexana. I'm just gonna see if I can land another stun. So like this. Yep, got him. Let's do this. And then I can just attack him again. I'm just gonna launch my stun here. Gotta go in and use my passive to deal more damage. And I can just stun him again. And then our Vexana can finish him off. Never mind, I finished him off. Alright, so you guys can see why she's so annoying to fight against, because I can just like, I can literally just do this and spam stuns. Oh, yeah. And notice how much shield she gets from her first skill, by the way. So in this demonic form, basically, she gets like extra magic damage for every basic attack. And her gimmick is basically, um, yeah, like you guys can see this first skill deals more damage. Her second skill is literally just a dash. Um, the reason why you want the dash over anything else is because it combos really well with her stun. So right now, I'm actually in the bush, so they can't actually see me that I'm here. But now, if I just cast like a stun for instance, like this. Now they're a veil. I can just do this, and then dash out, like that. And they can't even catch me. And that's why she's such a fun assassin to play. And you guys can see here, like, notice how I'm still doing a ton of damage, even without like... If I just attack this. Yeah, notice how the marks like get consumed and they do damage regardless of whether I use a skill or a basic attack. So like I said, her her marks are what make her deal so much damage. If I can just stun her, she's dead. Because I can just do this, this, and then oh she's dead. Oh god. I had to cast my uh, stun there for a second. Okay. Armia's doing well. I missed my second skill if you guys can tell. Alright. Got him. Alright, she's dead now because um I can just dash in like this and just basically one-shot her, because I do so much damage. I can just push this turret a bit. Um, I'm just gonna stun him. Cast my dash. Now he has like no defense. So he has nothing he can do to stop me. I'm gonna see if their Layla is coming here. I can just launch my stun, and then repeat, like that. And notice how much more powerful like my damage is spiking now. So if he just comes after me again, yep. Yeah, so notice how like little damage he's doing, and I can just launch my stun. Nope, I missed. But yeah, and then rinse and repeat, basically. 
So the best part about her is she can actually like give visuals like this, <laughs> which is absolutely hilarious. Can you launch her hook? Nice. And then yeah. So it also makes it so it's really easy for your teammates to hit people because of the fact that you're just stunning people left and right. So that's why the main like power spike with Selena comes with your aim. If you can consistently land your second skills, um, then you're going to be incredibly strong while you play this hero. And if not, then you're just going to be really weak. Like notice how I didn't stun anyone there and they all escaped. But the reason why it's good is because if I can hit people like this for instance, notice how now he's just stuck there and we can just basically kill him. The coolest part is you can actually like launch your stuns into like the enemy base as well. But that was the end of the game. And yeah, that's basically Selena. Um, I might actually be playing her a lot more often now that we got her for free because um, she's quite powerful and I can actually carry with this hero to some extent because she's more of like a roamer. So if we ever have to play roam, now we have a damage roam and I already played her enough that um, I'm pretty much a master with her now. So there's another MVP. And yeah, 16-09. <laughs> and again, we go up beyond 40% uh, damage this time, which is good. And yeah, that was Selena. So I didn't really showcase any other any of the other heroes today. What I think I originally said I would showcase um, Melissa if I got her, but we didn't. So I showcased Selena instead. And yeah, honestly, in the early stages of the game, you just want to play the heroes that you're really good at. So I might actually just keep playing Selena. Um, she's very powerful. She has a, quite a lot of skins, by the way. Like, I mean a ton of them. <laughs> like. It's insane how many she has, but um, yeah, she's one of the most fun mages. Um, she's not exactly meta per se right now because if you can use her well, then she's good. But most of the time, enemies can just counter her really easily because you can just see the stun coming. But for people who don't know how to dodge the stun and just kind of stand there, <laughs> like kind of the enemies do in this phase of the game, it's really easy. So we got more magic dust, we got more emblem fragments, we got more emblem fragments. So we just need to finish three more matches here, two more matches here. And we need to complete a match as a tank or fighter. So you know what? Next episode, we might do that. Because um, 50 magic dust is worth that. So we'll do it. And I guess we also get a skin next video. And I'll probably go for this Xavier skin. Because you guys saw how OP Xavier can be. But yeah. We get some more coins for doing tasks. Uh, we can play... You can complete these tasks if you guys have friends or just play a lot. Um, I only play once a day. But at the end of the event, if we don't get... um this Johnson skin, I'm probably just going to exchange it for these because as I told you, hero fragments can just give you uh, heroes as well. But most likely, um, as long as we log in every day, we should get enough coins. Actually, maybe not, but we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, um, that was basically it for the video. I um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm just going to collect these like final rewards as we do our outro and hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, and next time if we don't get a new hero, um, actually we have enough, so you know what? Um, I said I wanted to get Melissa, but you know what? We need a decent fighter, because we already have good MMs, like I can play Layla like a god. So you know what? Let's get Yin and showcase him next video and complete that task. Because we needed Yin, and I actually play him a lot lately in um, the my main account, because his damage output is insane if you can master him. And the people in this rank are kind of bad, so we should be able to easily win. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, it's a bit of a longer video, but um, yeah, that's all I had. I'll see you guys tomorrow.